on The Great American Baking Show. Spice, do you know what week it is? We, oui, but of course. It's, it's French, French week. week. Five bakers battle to see who will make it into the finals. Stay on your game, because two of you will be leaving this week. On your marks. Get set. Bake. bake. In the signature challenge, the bakers had to make four frangipan tarts. It's hard not to love French pastry. Making it, on the other hand, is challenging. A frangipan tart is all about the bake. We're looking for a light brown color on the top, a nice, neat rim around the edge of the tart, and a firm, crispy base. For the apples, I thinly slice them, and then you lay them in a line and roll them up. It's a balance between crust, frangipan, and fruit. With time running out, all the bakers were feeling the pressure. Bake, 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 bake. Oh my god, I can't even drink my tea. Which led to Brian. When you put apple in like that, it opens it up. That's going to be very dry, you know? Quite disappointing. And Valerie's downfall. I don't like the plum on the top. It's too thin. You need something a little bit more robust. While Cindy did more than just impress. Oh, I'm in France now. I'm back in France. The flavors are delicious. In the technical, Paul challenged them with an unfamiliar bake. So, Paul, is there any advice you can offer our bakers for making Perry breast? It's all about the timing. The bakers relied heavily on the instructions to complete Paul's recipe. I actually read it, and I don't quite understand the shape. It's actually concentric circles stacked on top of each other. One hour left. One hour. You guys are nuts. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh, not even close. I guess it wouldn't be a technical if it wasn't, you know, hard. In the end, it was Molly who came out on top. <laughs> well done, Molly. I told you. It's certainly the neatest one with the best flavor. I've never done well in a technical, so I'm just over the moon right now. For their final challenge, the bakers were asked to make an opera cake. It's vital to do well today. The opera cake's been around for about 60 years now, and it shows precision and timing. It encompasses everything in one challenge. All the layers, theoretically, have to all be the same thickness. Ooh, it's hot. Looks good. I think it's nicely baked. Look at the sponge. Look at all the sponge. This is my cherry jam that I'm going to fold into the buttercream. Come on, puree. Come on, baby, puree. As time ticked away, a few bakers put in some extra effort. I'm just pulling the, the candied oranges out, and I'm going to do some sugar work. I'm adding a, a strawberry gelée, even though it's not required. This is so close to being able to pour on that. This is going to make a mess. Sorry, everyone. Oh, no. Good God, I need help. This looks insane. <laughs> Say, what the hell were you smoking when you were looking at the Northern Lights? Five, four, oh, shoot. three, two, oh, goodness gracious, alive. One. Time is up. Brian and Antoinette fell short. It's a shame your timings, you haven't learned anything. <laughs> That's an issue. It's quite sickly sweet. It needs more tartness, more bitterness. Okay. Well, Molly. That is beautiful. <laughs> and Cindy hit the mark. The jelly is the best. So overall, I think you've done quite well. Earning Cindy her second star baker title. Antoinette and Brian's dreams of winning were cut short as Molly, Valerie, and Cindy move on to the finals. Oh my god, this is crazy. I can't believe I'm star baker again. And I absolutely cannot believe I'm in the finals. It's yeah. been amazing. When I entered the competition, I did not think I would make it this far. I survived. I'm so happy. It's anyone's game.